School. A place that doesn't have to be limited to the classroom, yet often is. A place where information is forced into our minds and dumped into our memories without a second thought. They tell you the more you absorb the endless details, the better grades you can get, and the better college, the better job, and the better... whatever. Even with over 7 billion people, my world is more connected than my parents' world. I live in a world with millions of kids who at any given moment can video chat with each other 24-7. My social world is becoming globally connected, yet my education is so painfully localized. What does my curriculum have to do with Rwanda or Brazil? There are billions of people on earth to learn with. How can we keep education confined within four walls when the rest of the world is so accessible? Why not fill my classroom with the students of the world? Meet Rich Lair. He's my eighth grade science teacher. He's been tapping into students to try to solve global issues, such as the use of inefficient cook stoves in developing countries. And not just his students, but students from all over the world. So I've always been a teacher who wants to make sure that students see the real life applications of the concepts that I'm teaching. And what I wanted to do was have a project in which not only the students in my school would be, would be doing some sort of design challenge, um, but then we could have other schools around the world do the same design work. On top of the stove, we put some stones so that the pan can raise up. We did that for our uh, five can. We cut holes right here so that when we put the pot on top, there's air can get in. We weren't just solving problems for the sake of solving problems, that we were actually looking to, in an eighth grade science class, have students generate solutions to problems that were, were real-life problems that other people around the world were also trying to solve. So each of the schools built similar, if not the same, representative stoves. We tested them, and once we had a chance to do that, there were some amazing conversations between students in each of the countries about the stoves they produced, about how they performed, but also topics beyond that. So this guy has razors on the bottom of his feet and he's skating on ice. And then that's the stick. The face-to-face, real-time Skype conversations that we were able to have are just such an unbelievable educational tool. Students' understanding of the world, understanding of themselves, understanding of the, some of the challenges that we're, we're facing, talking through those and helping to solve those in internationally collaborative groups is going to change the way education is done.